uh, for a new file each time uh, you open a new file you must remember first basic step which is check your unit Check units. Check units. Look at the millimeters here. All right. Because if you draw in a uh, wrong units, your drawing will be disaster. Okay. If you don't know how to handle it, then you have to redo everything again. But yeah, there is way. Uh, there is way of how to convert those uh, like kind of imperial to millimeters. Yeah, there is way, but it's a bit complicated. All right. So then the precision have to be zero, All right? Okay. So there is actually an empty space. So uh, first thing that we will do is we will create a uh, for paper. All right. So F twelve two nine seven F one zero. So this a uh, four paper. Offset this into ten mm for the boundary lines. Right. So we need to do the the block. So I'm going to explode this. Explode. Yeah. That does not extend. Offset. Right. Uh, next, I'm going to divide this uh, the drawing into four four section here. One, two, one here. If you use this, you must remember, right? You need to turn on the O snap, and the O snap need to be turn on the mid midpoint here, right? So O snap is a very useful function, but you need to know how to handle it. If you not used to handle it, then it could be a disaster for your drawing, right? So press midpoint, click, right? So how do we extend to the rest? So just press extend here, right? Or the shortcut is X E X extend. Okay, explode. Just not e X P explode, but extend is E X. Press extend. So, uh, last week I show you guys uh, how to extend, which is you need to uh, select the borderline, right? The space bar, and press the object, isn't it? Right. So this week I'm going to show you another shortcut of extends. Okay. So X extends, press space bar. So this time you don't need to uh, select the boundary line. It's much faster, right? So you just press. You just need to press space bar again, right? Press space bar one more time, and then you can just extend the object straight away. So once you press uh, space bar two times, it means that the line will be extended to the nearest boundaries that they, they, they can find. Is it? Right? Okay. Escape. All right. So the next step, I need you guys to create a text. All right. You need to name each of the box. Here, so uh, as we learned last week, when you create the, the text box, you need to turn off the F3, the object snap. If not, it will snap to the corner of the box here, then, then your text will be attached to it. So you need to move it again. Okay, so to make it fast, press F3 again, and then create the text box here. So the top part will be a plan. Right. And all right. So the text size just not is three, right? So to have a text to all box, just copy the text. Design. This this will learn uh, last week, isn't it? Co for copy, right? Instead of creating the text one by one, just use copy and then F three for snap, and then select endpoint here, and copy to each box. 
Okay. So we're going to name only three box here. Plan. Front elevation. And side elevation. Okay, what happened to the fourth box here? So we just leave it the fourth box. Fourth box. This is where actually uh, we're going to demonstrate. We're going to show the what can it, um, the orthographic drawings. I hope you understand orthographic drawing, right? It means orthographic drawing means uh, let's say you draw a plan, and then from the plan you will extrude to become a front elevation and side elevation, right? And then one of the box. Uh, or angle need to be 45 degrees okay but uh for today instead of drawing from the uh, from a plan we're going to start with the front elevation here why because the front elevation is where the most shape appear right the where the most complicated shape happening on the front elevation while on the plan and the side elevation basically it's just a straight line all right okay All right, so this we're going to do. So we're going to begin the, the drawing with a circle. All right, so pick a circle. All right, so uh, as you can see on the drawing here, let's check on the drawing here. Okay. Let's look at this. There is a first, we start with a three circle. The first circle, the radius is six. Second is, um, where's the second one? Uh, eight, six, eight. And then the next one is 12, All right? So let's do it. Okay. So pick a circle. I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to choose the middle here. So the first one is 6 m, right? The second one will be, uh, Eight. That will be the second circle, right? And then the third one, right? The third one is twelve. Click the circle, right? Okay, the circle. Click in and key in twelve as twelve. Okay. 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 Now, once we have this, uh, I want you guys to put in the radius, radius of the object here. Click that to annotate. All right, and then go to the click here, and to put in the radius. All right. So this is the first radius here. Radius six. All right. Okay. And then click the second radius, right? The second radius, which is eight. Okay, we can put it here, eight there, eight. And then put in the third radius, which is 12. All right, there you are. Okay, and then from here, all right? Just draw the straight line going down, right? Click lines, back to home here. Click the lines and click the the quadrant here. We see it here, right? The quadrant, right? Each circle they have a quadrant. So each circle they will have about should have about four quadrant, right? So click the quadrant here, right? Click and then uh, draw it downward. Okay, uh, another part is actually is to draw the okay, the, uh, the center line of the circle, right? So to draw the second line, center line of the circle, you just go to annotate, right? And consider there's a center mark, right? So you click the center mark here and then click to any of the circle. Okay, let's pick up the smallest one, right? And that's it. Okay, so the center line uh, is, is a mass symbol 
for any uh, cylindrical object that we can see from the plan. All right. Okay. So uh, going downward, it's really uh, 20, right? Or you can just, really just use this. Line. Here. And going downward, key in 20. There you are. Right. And then select the line. To the right because we are going to draw the curve here isn't it okay there actually there will be a problem later but then i'm going to demonstrate a, a stretch function right? because actually the 20 is here but then i did i created the the line at the 20 it's supposed to be uh, going down further you see but then we're going to demonstrate the stretch command after this right so uh so we have this so what we need to do next is a filler here all right, so press fillet. Do you learn last week, isn't it? Press fillet. Okay, and then um, after fillet, you need to set the radius. Press R, space bar, and put the radius as 5, space bar, and choose the line here. All right. Okay, get it? All right. So the next one is to offset uh, the line to downward 5 mm. Offset 5. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Offset 5. There you are. And then I'm going to slide here. Yeah. And, right. so, uh, what happened is we're going to draw one side of the object, and then later we're going to mirror the, the, the other side to the left. Right. So what I need is actually the middle line. Right. So I'm going to choose from the center of the, the circle here. Right, F8 for straight line auto going down. Right, okay, so that will be the center line. Okay, guys, the next one, uh, create a single line to the left. Okay, single line to the left. Now I'm going to trim all this. Yeah. This trim. And. Oh, no, it's not trimming. Oh, it's a secret line. Well, I just erase this. All right, there you are. Then we need to draw uh, sorry, another offset here. Offset is about that much, right? Okay. Just about 2 mm. And then the last one is to create a circle. So in this case, just put anywhere. Right, the circle is actually two. We so just select circle, right? Just click the circle and put two radius. That's it. And offset to inside about 0 0.5. Okay, so that's it. So what you can do now, what, what we're gonna do now, mirror this uh, object here. To the left. There you are. Okay, when you use mirrors, you must remember 
uh, there is an option here, erase source object. If you uh, select erase source object, this will happen, right? So the original will be gone, right? It means that you uh, depend on the uh, the, your, the function uh, of mirror that you want to choose, right? So I'm not going to erase this, right? No, N for now. Okay. So there, we, there, there goes our um, object here. Frankly, guys, frankly, you not necessarily have to follow exactly the same the the, the measurement. In fact, uh, I would prefer if you have a different measurement, probably your circle will be smaller. So then uh, I know that uh, it's actually uh, your drawing is unique pro from each one of you. All right. So you can uh, do a bit uh, slight changes on this uh, object here. For right. example, like probably you want to have uh, another circle or another box at the back. It's up to you. It's okay for your submission. So uh, I really encourage my students uh, to explore more than, than what I've given to you guys. All right. Okay, the next one, the last phase is the, the hollow part under the circle here. All right. So that part, the circle, the radius is about, uh, let me check again, 15, I think. Circle. All right, so radius is 15. There you are. All right, and then at the side, the side here, the offset is 3. Offset 3 and there you are. Okay, so the last part is to create the line here. Right. What we need to do now is do the trimming, trim, the art for trim. Right. So we're going to select the boundaries because the, the object is quite complicated. So when you complicate it, we need to select the boundaries. Right. And again. Here and here. Oh, all right. So once you have this, now uh, the next phase is uh, to apply dimension to this object here. Object here. So to apply dimension, uh, go to annotate, all right? And then first select the linear dimension here. Okay. So the first dimension is the size of, of this, all right? Okay. As you can see, right, the dimension is not yet properly setting. As you can see. The dimension line is attaching the object. So this is wrong. Okay, guys, this is wrong. So what you have to do is click the dimension style again, right? And go to the lines here. And then offset for origins, press 5, enter, and click OK. Close. Yeah. So this is correct. Okay, guys, this is correct. So never allow the line to touch the object. If the line touch object, we lost our mark. And in industry drawing, it's a wrong drawing, right? Okay, let's continue the next one. So choose uh, continue dimensions, right? Oh yeah, uh, go back to dimension again. Modify the primary units precision. Precision change it into zero. Why? Because you are using millimeters. And click OK. I think that only those two that, uh, that you need to do for now, for, for today's lesson. But then when we do the autographic drawing uh, part two next week, where actually we're going to uh, build an uh, interior floor plan, and then we're going to do more detail on dimension, right? So now let's continue the dimension. So we go here, nine, and then we go here, that's five, All right? And that's it, okay? So this is actually uh, slightly different than, than uh, the drawing that we did, that we had just now, okay? And then create another dimension from here. 
to here, which is 12, which is the same, right? And click the overall height from top to the bottom, which is 38. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, and the next one actually, uh, we need to apply the radius of the object here. Like this. So this one should be six. Okay. Radius again. To repeat the the okay, that, to repeat the comma, you just need to press uh, space bar, and then your comma will be repeated. R eight, and I press space bar again, and and then we got R twelve. All right. Okay. And one more, one more, one more. It's a total width of the object here. All right. Okay. So this is a drawing that we did. Now let's compare with the previous drawing. All right, so I want you to look at the height here. This one is 38, right? And this one is actually... ...45. See that? The actual height here, actually 45. But our is 38. So, uh... I did a, a wrong drawing here. So I need to change this, right? Okay, so we need to change, we need to add in uh, 38 into 45. So we need to add in 7 more height here, right? 7 millimeters height. This is where the function that you can use the stretch function here. See, collect this one here. Select the objects that I want to stretch. Click here. Press space bar, click anywhere, and then bring the cursor towards that you, you want to add in, right? To add in the, the, the height, okay? So press oh, 06, eh? 45, press 7, space bar. There you are. Okay? Now we got 45 of the total height, like this. See, it's 45. So that is a function of a uh, uh, okay, uh, a stretch command, right? So um, the rest of the of shapes is up to you. Doesn't matter. Right? You can use any type of shape. You can add in. Let's say you want to add in triangle in the object. No problem. Okay, guys. In fact, I encourage if you do it different than, than the drawing that given here, so then every one of every one of you will have a, a unique type of drawing. Or right, let's say you want to explore more about uh, about the drawing or lines, and you can do it. All right. So this is what you're supposed to submit for next week, All right? So you 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 need to produce, All right? We did the front elevation here, right? You need to produce a plan and side elevation here, All right? Okay, so how do you produce this? Okay, first, uh, we're going to draw the extrusion line from the front elevation to the plan. Right. So first thing, what we need, right, is a baseline here. So this will be a baseline from the front, from the front line elevation. So this. Uh, Supposed to be the same parallel lines with the uh, from the front elevation, right? So <clears throat> we're going to draw the front side elevation first, right? So what we're going to do, we just extrude the line. So for the extrusion, the extrusion line to to make it different than than uh, object lines, I'm going to change the property color into gray line. Gray colors here. So whenever I print, the, the okay, extrusion line will, will appear gray. Right? So I'm going to 
select the line from the left to the right. Right? You can see right this this color is white, and now the extrusion line color is gray. Okay. So what we're gonna what you have to do is just extrude the line here. To the right. Okay. Then we have more here. Okay, you did this in your uh, architecture graphic, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to create an object line here. All right. Okay. So offset about. Okay, I'm going to offset about 50, offset 50. Yeah. Right. So this will be the baseline, this will be the, the, the top line here, extended to the top. You can see the, the side elevation is much simple than the than the uh, front elevation, all right? So this one is up to you guys, all right? It's up to you guys. So the, <clears throat> then once I done the, I've got the extrusion line. I change this this color again back to white color. Okay, all right? Okay, to start to draw the the next part here. Okay. So I've got this one here, isn't it? Okay. Okay, here, so probably I need this about um, eight and eight, and this side will be eight. Okay, so this line is supposed to be gray color. Yep, there you are. Okay. So polyline. Have this shape here. Shape here. And there. Okay, so that's the okay, that, um, the side elevation of the objects, All right? And then remember when I said when we have a circle on the front elevation on the side, it look like um, a line, right? Look like this. So what you're gonna do? Right, you just draw the line, extrude the line from here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. So create the center line it means you need to put between this line here. There you are. Alright. Oh, okay. Uh, actually I need to trim this actually. Trim this center line here. Oh yeah. All right. Okay. All right. So this is side elevation of the objects, and here again you need to apply the dimension once again. All right. Okay. So this is my side elevation of the objects. And the last part, what you have to do is extrude the plan. All right, extrude the plan. So same thing, I will use the gray color here. Okay. Sorry. Dark gray, yep. Yeah. Yeah, gray here. Yeah. As extrusion. All right. Same thing here. 
dot extrude extrude the the sucker here okay then as extrude the center line on the object the top right okay that's it for now okay so this is the plan isn't it so uh what we call uh what we call orthographic drawing is the length of the plan here will it be determined by the side elevation here how do we do that so this is what you learn in uh architecture graphics we need to create a line right okay with 45 degrees okay so the line probably uh, could be about 120 100 the display is 120 at 45 degrees line so this, this is the the uh, dynamic input that you learn today right tap and click anywhere there you are that's it okay so we need 45 degrees line to extrude the length of the uh, the object into the plan to the plan right so how do we do it Again, line from here. So this one will be good here. So this will be the same uh, uh, with what you learn in uh, architecture graphic, okay, guys. Should be the same. And the auto one. Of course, when we draw, uh, when we draw interior design, it probably probably uh, slightly different than what you have now. All right, and then this line here will be translated into fan. All right. All right. So the gray line at the background, just let it be. Do not delete, do not do anything. Okay, guys, do not delete, do not anything. Let the, the gray line at the back appear. All right. So then that will show that you actually uh, have done the, the correct orthographic drawing. So uh, in, in fact, in architecture drawing, this we, this we call it as a construction drawing, construction line. And sometimes the construction line is, uh, is let remain on the drawing to show that drawing is actually a uh, okay, precise drawing. All right. Okay, then. What we have to do now is draw the object. So object need to be white color here to show the is a real object. Right, there you are one, two, right, and then it's supposed to look like this. One, two. Remember the symbol here, the center line symbol here. So we need the center line symbol to indicate there is a cylinder in the middle. All right. In fact, actually, there is more actually. In fact, actually, uh, like those hollow in the middle, it should be indicated in a hidden line. All right. Should be indicated in the line. There is hollow in the middle so by right it should be in the, in the line but then you haven't learned about the line type yet we're going to learn line type next week so let it be for next week this is what you have to produce you can produce either the same like this but uh i'm encourage encourage you guys to produce object that is slightly different than this right so it means that uh i cannot i can see that you are exploring the function not just following exactly from the tutorial or the from the video right and everyone's drawing will be different that's the best so then i know that uh everyone is